welcome back to another video. If you're new, you're welcome. I'm Rini and I share DIY home decor and craft videos. Valentine's Day is coming soon and today I'm going to share some DIY Valentine's Day gift ideas with you. These DIYs are very easy and it doesn't take a lot of time to make them. Before we get into the DIYs, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and click the bell icon to get notified every single time I post a new video on my channel. So let's get started. For making the fridge magnets, I took two of these wooden hearts. Then I grabbed Mod Podge and applied a thin layer on one of the hearts. I took a page out of an old book and pasted it on the heart. Then I applied one more coat of Mod Podge on the top to seal everything in place. Once the Mod Podge was dry, I turned it over and using a precision knife, I cut out the extra paper. If you want, you can trace the heart on the paper first and then cut and decoupage it. I cut out a small heart as a template and placed it on the center. Then I traced the shape and to color it I mixed up some red and off-white acrylic paint. I started filling in the shape and I went for two coats of paint because I didn't want the writings on the page to show through. Then I painted the edges with black paint. I took a white gel pen and leaving a little space from the edges, I started to draw a dotted line following the shape of the red heart. Then I used a fine point permanent marker to draw a dotted line following the shape of the larger heart. I switched over to a technical pen for drawing the dotted line but feel free to use any fine point marker or gel pen you have on hand. Then I took a button magnet and hot glued it to the back of the heart. I pressed it down and held it in place till the glue cooled down. Next I grabbed the other wooden heart and applied a thin layer of Mod Podge on it. I printed a picture of me and my husband and pasted it on the heart. Then I applied another layer of Mod Podge on the picture to decoupage it. After the Mod Podge dried, I cut out the extra paper using an X-Acto knife. Then I took some air dry clay and a rose silicone mold. I grabbed a piece of clay and I was going to use these two small molds for this DIY. I needed a very small piece of clay and pressed it into the mold. Then I removed it and placed it on this glass piece. You can also use a piece of parchment paper. For the smaller rows, I used a tiny amount of clay, pressed it into the mold and carefully removed it. So I continued making the roses and I made about 10 to 11 pieces with each mold. I dipped a brush in water and smoothed them down a little bit and left them to dry for at least 24 hours. After the rose pieces were dry, I started to arrange them around the heart like a frame. The pattern was one tiny rose between two large roses. So I only needed 14 roses in total, 7 large and 7 tiny roses. After I was happy with the arrangement, I removed the pieces and put them back in order. Before I painted the roses, I took a gold acrylic paint and dry brush along the border of the heart as well as the edges. Then it was time to paint the flowers. I painted two of these with a light pink acrylic paint. I used this light blue to paint two more roses. As we can see, I'm using pastel colors to paint the roses. Then I'm using a coral color to paint two of them. For the last rose, I'm using a lilac paint. I painted all the tiny roses with a gold acrylic paint. Then I placed the roses back on the heart like the way we arranged before. And I started to hot glue the pieces one by one. Finally, I took a button magnet and hot glued it to the back of the heart. You can also use E6000 or super glue for this. This completes our heart fridge magnets which are a great gift option for Valentine's Day and I love how cute they turned out. For this DIY, I grabbed a 12 by 12 cm square wood panel. Using an off-white acrylic paint, I started to paint the interior part of it. Then I tore small pieces of painter's tape and taped along the inner edges of the panel. After everything was taped down, I used powder pink acrylic paint to paint the frame of the panel. Then I turned it over and painted the back as well. Once the paint dried, I removed all the tape pieces. 
Now I cut out a 9.2 by 9.2 cm piece of paper matching the dimensions of the inner square of the panel. I drew a 3 by 3 grid on the paper dividing it into 3 equal sections horizontally and vertically. To trace this grid onto the wood panel, I shaded the lines with a pencil on the back of the paper. I flipped it over and placed it inside the panel. Then I drew over the lines to transfer the grid onto the wood. I cut out a small rectangular piece of cardstock that I was going to use as a ruler. I used a gold marker pen to draw the grid following the markings. Then I made the lines a little more thick to make the grid stand out better. You can use the same off-white paint to correct any mistakes. I grabbed 9 small wood cubes and I started to paint 5 of these with black acrylic paint. I painted all the sides of the cube. I went for at least 2 coats to make the paint look opaque. Then I cut out a tiny paper heart, placed it on the center and traced the shape onto the cube. To fill in the shape, I used the same powder pink paint. This way I continued to paint little pink hearts on the remaining 4 pieces. Then I grabbed this X alphabet stamp and a black ink pad and stamped it on one of the sides of the plain wooden cube. I repeated the same for the remaining pieces. I arranged the pieces and we have our DIY tic-tac-toe board game ready. This will be an adorable gift for Valentine's Day. To make the coasters, I used two 4.5 by 4.5 inches wooden square pieces. I painted one of these with light grey acrylic paint. For the other coaster, I used this light pink paint. I cut out a piece of cardstock to make a half heart stencil. I placed the stencil on one of the sides of the coaster and taped it down to hold it in place. I took a ruler and marked half centimeter points on both the opposite sides. I connected the markings to make a guide for handwriting. Then I used a fine point permanent marker to write the word love over and over again until the entire shape was filled. Then I went ahead and removed the tape pieces and the stencil. I grabbed the pink coaster and placed it beside the grey one. I turned over the heart template and taped it down. I also taped the two coasters together and used my ruler to extend the straight lines drawn on the previous coaster. You can skip this step if you want but I'm not good at writing in a straight line so I went an extra mile. Once that was done, I started to write love on this side as well and continued filling in the shape. Then I removed the stencil and erased all the pencil lines. I took gold acrylic paint and painted the edges of both the coasters as a finishing touch. This finishes off our DIY handwritten heart coasters. When we match the two coasters, we get a heart shape. For the last DIY gift idea, I grabbed a glass jar. I also used these craft sticks. I took 52 pieces and divided them into 4 equal groups of 13 each. To paint them, I grabbed these 4 pastel acrylic paints. I took an extra craft stick and marked how much was I going to paint. Then I cut it off and used this piece as a guide to mark on all the craft sticks. I marked both the sides and started to paint with this lilac paint. All the lilac colored craft sticks are for at home date ideas. For the next set of craft sticks, I used a light green paint. These were for outdoor date ideas. I painted the next set with a coral paint. This set was for date ideas that are required to plan. 
For the last set which was indoor date ideas, I used this light blue paint. Once all the craft sticks were painted, I took a marker pen and wrote down all the date ideas based on the colors. This way I wrote down 52 date ideas divided into 4 groups. I put together a list of date ideas I liked, you can totally customize it to your liking. Then I cut out a rectangular piece of black cardstock and punched a hole on its top. Using a gold marker I wrote date ideas. Then I drew 4 tiny squares which I was going to fill in later. Using a white gel pen I wrote down all the 4 categories. Then I painted the squares to color code everything. For the finishing touches, I painted a little heart on the top and outlined the squares with a white pen. I opened the jar and filled it with the craft sticks and also made sure the painted sides were facing up. To spruce up the jar a little bit, I took a gold glass writer and painted tiny hearts on it. To finish off, I cut a piece of twine, put one of the ends through the tag, wrapped it around the neck of the jar and tied a bow knot. This completes our date ideas jar which is a great gift option for your loved one. like the DIYs. If you did, please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. If you plan to recreate any of these DIYs, I would love to see them so you can tag me on Instagram at DustyHughes. Thank you for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one.